welcome back to another video here in the Asebo Pan African village. So there's a little bit of noise in the background, people cutting trees, people clearing their land. So yeah. Anyway, so this is an update on the three bedroom house that we haven't done here. So from the last video that I made, we were supposed to pause a little bit and then continue. But that changed because uh, the owner has been so excited about the progress so far from when we started to this particular point and can't actually wait to get to uh, have it roof. so it happened that we had to continue to uh, some point so this video is just to show you where we've got into so far and some slight modification we had to also do so let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, the building and see uh, what it looks like now so from the front part to from the left part in the front you notice that we actually have uh, the front part all up to lentil level so you can see that let me just take a walk so you can see that properly so you notice that the right part so we actually got the right part first and then had the columns cast so you can see the columns cast for the um, the right part of the building and let me just climb onto the porch so currently in a porch area this is um, the living room window what I was talking about some time back you notice that it is even now so the right part blocked left part blocked and then we also have the concrete cast for the left part of the building so now let's take a walk inside through the living area so um, I'll take you through the right part first so I'll take a walk through this um, doorway we have over here and then from here we take a uh, walk into the lobby of these two rooms that we have here so to my left there's a room and then to my right there's another room so let's take a walk into the left room and here so the size of the room is 12 feet square and we have five feet window by uh, four uh, feet height so that is also five feet by four feet and then um, you have the shared washrooms over here. So this seven as a bathroom and then uh, This one seven as a toilet area and then you have another room here Which is of the same size as the other room we just came from so from here now Let's take a walk back Into the corridor. So this is the corridor. This is the other doorway that leads outside from the front part and When we come back here we go through this doorway into the living area and then from the living area let's take a walk into the master bedroom so i have to go down here now this is the master bedroom uh, you can see this has this part has also got into lentil and we have the ensued washroom so that is also over here and we have the window created for that too that's uh, a four feet uh, window that is wide and then the height is two feet so from here let's continue back through to the master bedroom and then we have the utility area which is uh, right ahead of us now from here let's go into the kitchen area so the modification i was talking about actually took place in the kitchen so if you look to the right part initially we had a storeroom here where there was a doorway into the storeroom uh, but that had to change and then con be converted into uh, a small dining area because uh, when i was looking at if possible have like a small dining area so that is what we did we had to extend the wall a little into a little further into the kitchen and then have that you know uh, instead of having a doorway we just created a bigger space that you can easily just walk into the dining area so the size of this is eight um i think it's about nine feet nine feet by six feet so that's the size of it which i must say is a decent size like a small dining area which is attached to the kitchen so you have your kitchen uh the sink goes yeah you can have cabinets you can have your fridge whatever it is so that you have a small dining area with a table inside there you can have your uh, meal there and then from there we also have the doorway that leads to the back of the house so this doorway leads to the back porch which is here and 
over here you can see the back part of the house and then that's the right part and then that's the left part now for the small dining area we created we also added a window to it so this is a four feet um, square window so four feet width and then the height is also four feet uh, which will allow a little bit of you know air, air into the dining area as well so you can also see this change from the aerial footage of the building so from here we take a walk back into the um, kitchen area which I must still say that the kitchen is actually a very good size kitchen now doing this um, modification that we're doing that is bringing this wall or extending this, this wall a little bit um, into the kitchen uh, because during the foundation we didn't create uh, uh, a wall for that in the footing we had to actually improvise a little bit where uh, we created a small beam at the ground so i'm sure you can see that so we created a small beam and had it cast with concrete so we have steel in it and then after that we went ahead to erect the wall on top of it so that is uh what we did to bring about this particular wall and yeah so the entire columns has been cast the total columns within the house is uh are 16 16 pieces eight pieces to the uh right side of the building and then another eight to the left side so all has been cast which makes it a total of um, 16 and to the front part of the building let's take a look at the front we have two columns which are yet to be cast so that's one column there there's another one here so and then towards the back part of the building which is behind the kitchen we also have two columns here which will be cast so so far this is the progress that has been made so what is left to be done um, next is to have the lentil concrete cast we have actually done this to you for that which is outside i'll take you out so you get to see it uh and then so the woodwork will have to be done you know so put a beam place on top of the openings so the main entrance the windows all will have beam plates and then the wood will be used to secure the edges and then they still be placed in it and then after that the concrete is going to be cast so if you look down there you notice that we have the steel all ready to go on top of the building so those are still down there now let's take a walk around the building from outside so i'm going to go back onto the section i came from and then we take a look at the front part of the building again so this is the front part of the building now let's walk towards the left part so i must say there's there's a lot of works ongoing here in the pan-african village a lot of buildings coming up fence walls a lot of clearing being done on land boreholes being drilled so this place is very busy here at the moment so uh, this is from the front part of the building uh, we have our steel there and then we take a walk towards the left part so from the master bedroom area now let's take a walk around the master bedroom and then we have the uh, master uh, bathroom or washroom and then from here we proceed to the back of the house so you get to see the window for the utility area and from here we get to the back porch so the kitchen window and then we have the dining small dining area and then the other um, bedroom window now i'm sure you might be wondering since we've converted the storeroom that we had initially into a, a dining area where it's now going to serve as a storeroom so the good thing is because there is a utility area which is here it probably could serve as a small storeroom as well it's actually not a bad size because it's nine feet by four feet so it could you know serve as a, a little storeroom where some few things can be placed in there the main purpose of it is to have the electrical means in there but you know there definitely will be space to have some few other things placed in there so that is what is going to happen now so um in the comments i've been seeing people asking the number of blocks we've used 
the number of cement we've used as well so the total number of blocks that we've used for the superstructure that is the, the you know from the uh, floor concrete all the way to the lentil uh, is a total of 1800 pieces of blocks yes and the number of cement bags that we've used um, which includes the casting of the column concrete a uh, total of 40 bags so far that is what we've used so far in doing that so for the block work i'll say we've used like about 30 bags and then we've used about uh, 10 bags for the columns um, so far so that is that is what uh we've done to so those who have been wondering the number of blocks we've used so that's the total number of blocks that we've used uh for the super structure so far so after the uh the lentil concrete is cast then we are going to be continuing about four cores up and i think that will be enough to have the room you know have a little bit high ceilings and then the roofing is going to be done it looks like it's gonna rain uh, the weather is gradually changing well i i hope uh it rains yeah because it's been a while having rains over here so anyway so that is just about it for this video in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it um yeah i think that would basically be about it so yeah so we started this building sometime in january it's been like we started in the second week of january and we're currently in the fifth month so uh no bad progress at all we've not been working on it at a very fast pace we've been working on it at a normal pace and so far this is where we've got into so you can imagine if we're going very fast we would have actually gone past this pay, uh, this particular level anyway so that'll be just about this for now thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one